welcome to another Sunday School lesson. This lesson is for April the 28th, 2024. The title of the lesson is Faith of a Canaanite. It's coming from Matthew chapter 15, verses 21 through 28. Amen. Escuela Dominical, 28 de abril de 2024. Fe de un cananeo, Mateo 14, 21 a 28. Amen. Lingon Escuela, Abril 28, uh, Novecientos uh, uh, 24. Para nang palataya ng isang kaanitan, Mateo 15, 21, 28. Chủ nhật ngày 28 tháng 4 năm 2024 Đức tin của người Canon Matthew 15, 21, 28 I'll be reading from the book of Matthew uh, 15, 21-28 I'll be reading verses 21-22 Verse 21 Then Jesus went tense and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon 22, and behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, the son of David, my daughter, is grievously vexed and with the devil. Okay, man. Amen. Matthew chapter 15, verse 23 and 24. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him. Him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. And he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Jesus name. Verse 25 and 26. Then, then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not me to take to his bread and to cast it to God. Amen. Amen. Verse 27. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat the crumbs which fall from the master table. Amen. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Amen. Amen. English Standard Version, Matthew 15 and 28. Then Jesus answered her, O woman, great is your faith. Be it done for you as you desire. And your daughter was healed instantly. Amen. Matthew chapter 15, verse 28, Amplified Bible. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, your faith, your personal trust and confidence in my power is great. It will be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that moment. Amen. 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 New King James Version, Matthew chapter 15, verse 28. Then Jesus answered and said to her, O woman, Great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. May the Lord have a blessing on the reading, the hearing, and the doing of his word. Amen. Clave Mateo 15, 28. 28. Entonces respondiendo Jesús, Dios, oh mujer grande, es tu fe, hágase contigo como quieras. Y tu hija, pues sanada desde aquella hora. Amén. Salata, yes, Kibers, Mateo uh, 15, 28. Magandang balita, Biblia. 28. Sinabi sa kanya ni Jesus, Ginang, napakalaki ng iyong pananampalataya. Mangyari ang hinihiling mo. At noon di gumaling ang kanyang anak. Amen. Câu chỉ khóa Matthew 15, 28, New Vietnamese People. 
Đức giê -xu bảo người Này, ngươi có đức tin lớn thật Sự việc phải xảy ra như ý muôi muốn Ngay giờ đó, con gái của người ấy được chữa lành AMEN AMEN Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for this lesson that we are about to dive into. We pray that you will bless those that will hear your word, Lord, and bless them to be doers and to increase them. We just ask that you will save as this message will go out. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. And we give you thanks and all praise. Amen. Amen. Our scripture reading tonight is going to come from the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verses 21 through 28. And we're going to start reading with verse 21. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaanite came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word. And he, his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. We thank God for the reading of the word. Uh, our lesson is uh, the faith of a Canaanite. And in our opening scripture, we want to do a backdrop of the history of the Canaanites. In this particular text, we find this same story in the book of Mark chapter 7, where she's called a Syrophoenician. Um, many people who study the scriptures know that the Syrophoenician uh, kind of gives that war connotation. It reminds them of the war that went on in those nations. Uh, it can take you as far as back to the story of Joshua when God brought Israel into the promised land, the land of Canaan, uh, among the Canaanites. And they went and God helped them conquer uh, the land of Canaan. Um, as God had helped them, we find the story of Rahab, which was considered to be a Gentile. And we find that Rahab, um, if you will, reserved a place with the Israelites in the hearts of the Israelites that when they guard come, the God of Israel will come and conquer the Phoenicians there, the Canaanite people, that they will remember her. And not just her, but her, also her family. We have uh, probably a similar story here with this woman, the Canaanite in Jesus' day, who comes to Christ and cries out to him while he's with his disciples. She cries out to him, Lord, have mercy upon me, son of David. Um, Christ heard her. Uh, Christ seemed to kind of like ignore them in, in the beginning and the disciples kept trying to get him to move along and not pay no attention to her uh, because of the Jews called the Canaanites Gentiles, called them dogs, uh, which was another word for Gentile in their day. Um, they felt as it was unfit for her to even approach Christ. And Christ had discourse with her. He had a conversation with her. She was persistent in her faith to get Jesus to free her daughter, to deliver her daughter from this demon, from this devil, the scripture says. Now, back into the history, the Canaanites, the Phoenician people were known for worshiping idol gods, gods and goddess. So many of them, and we find that even in the book of Acts, when Paul goes to the place called Athens, it seems like the Egyptians, the Canaanites, many other nations, it seemed like they all, uh, in a religion, they practice a lot of the similarities. And uh, we see, here, see this in our studies as you find out about the history of the Canaanites. And so 
the same fate that Rahab seemed like she reserved, the Canaanite woman here in the New Testament scripture, reserved the same like fate that was persistent, that she made, um, she made a promise to God's people as Rahab did. She made a promise that she would help them when they come into the land. And so as she did, she helped the spies. God remembered her. And so maybe, just maybe, this Canaanite woman here in the New, New Testament scripture uh, probably have heard of that story. Probably uh, realized that although the truth is that she spoke to Christ, that I am a dog, and she says to him, even the dogs eat the crumbs from the masters, from the children's table. Mm -hmm. And so in her saying that, it's like, I know that, but I know that you can have um, uh, mercy. You, you are merciful God. That I've read it in the scriptures about how merciful the God of Israel is, yeah. how long-suffering, how patient he is. Yeah. And so although it may have been kind of like a rule that, um, let, well, let me say this. What Jesus said to her, he said, I come for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That was his job. That was the agenda. That was the goal. And so even in hearing that, Christ yet still had compassion upon her because of her faith. Just as with Rahab, even though God was moving uh, upon Israel to deliver Israel and bring them into this promised land, to conquer this land and was going to overthrow all the other nations and their gods and the lifestyle that they lived so that Israel wouldn't be defiled by. But this lady showed a great sign of great faith in him. Yeah. And so that's what the Lord is looking for. Faith moves God. The Bible say without faith is impossible to please God. And faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. We need the word of God. We need it preached to us. The Bible say how can the preacher preach unless he's been sent? How can, how, what is the preacher preaching? That's important. Preach the gospel. Preach Christ. Christ is our deliverer. He is the anointed Messiah. And so Israel, uh, was waiting on the Messiah. I see this as twofold to what Christ said. Not only did he say a truth to this woman that uh, the bread belongs to the children instead of the dogs, but what Christ also was doing, he was rebuking the disciples. If you look at it, they felt entitled that the bread belongs to us, is ours to have. But even they rebelled against God. Even they didn't follow everything that God had told them. This is the gift of God, God's grace and his mercy that he has extended unto us. And so the promise, even in the prophecy concerning the Gentiles, that God would have a what we call a dispensation, a period of time of grace to bring the Gentiles in, and that it would cause the, the Jews to come to Christ too, to know him as Christ and Lord and Savior. And so... Christ saying this, he wasn't just talking to her. This message was to the Jews as well. Because it would strike a jealousy in their heart to see that the Lord had blessed this Gentile woman. To set her free. Christ said, he said, the kingdom of God, John was preaching, the kingdom of God was coming. Jesus preached that the kingdom of God has arrived, is here. And then he told John the Baptist's disciples who came to him while John was in prison, he says, the disciples say, we came to see, are you the one? And Jesus asked them, he said, what do you see? The blind eyes are open, the lanes are walking, demons are being cast out. And so here we have the Messiah who's the full embodiment of the kingdom of God. And Christ is, is, is ministering and preaching and calling for the lost sheep of the house of Israel to return back unto God their father. And as they rejecting, we see through the scriptures, many of them are rejecting, some are receiving, but many of them rejected Christ. They rejected his teachings. They say that he was blasphemous. They say that he came from Satan, Beelzebub. And here is a, what we call a Gentile. The scripture describes as a Gentile, this Canaanite woman, Syri Syrophoenician. Here she is. She could have done what the, the old practice, the old teaching was in their religion which was they worship idol gods and goddess and they offer their children to the god Molech. Yeah. But she didn't decide to do none of that. Yeah. She cried out, Lord, have mercy upon me, son of David. Yeah. She came to the right place. She came to Christ. She came to the right one. She didn't do what her ancestors did. 
You know, many of the practices, and we're seeing people start to return to that again. Worshipping of the ancestors. Worshipping idol gods. Have images and statues when you enter into the cities. It's so big you can see it. You can see it from afar off. They used to take the children and, uh, and worship Molech and put them inside of this fiery furnace that had the upper image was of Molech. And they would burn their children if there was war going on, if there was a uh, famine in the land. This is how that they cried out unto the many gods, as I refer to Paul preaching about Athens and when he went to Athens. The Bible said when Paul entered to Athens, he seen altars of many inscriptions and on the altars, many altars it said unto the unknown God. And so Paul took that inscription that was on that altar and he seized the opportunity to preach the God, Jesus Christ, as Lord and Savior. He preached Christ unto them. I'll tell you who God is. Thank you, Jesus. Paul, he preached Christ. The Phoenicians, the Canaanites, was known for their superstition. This woman didn't go to none of these things. She didn't offer her daughter. She actually wanted her daughter delivered from the very demons that we would say her people worship in old days. She came to the right place. And so Christ honored that. He honored her faith. He heard her cry. Any of us today, all we got to do is do what the scripture say. Call upon the name of the Lord while he's nigh unto us. And he will come to us. The Bible tells us this. Cry out unto him. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon his name while he's near. The Lord would answer you. He would not turn away. And the Bible says, if any man lack of faith, let him ask of God. God, if any man lack of wisdom, let him ask of God. He gives freely. He's not holding it back. God wants to give it to you. God wants to set us free. He wants to deliver us. Come to him in faith. Faith is a requirement. It is the requirement to please God. The Bible says, if any man come unto God, he must first believe that he is God, and he is a rewarder of them that seek him diligently. This woman sought the Lord. She was persistent. She didn't let the disciples, she didn't let nobody around her stop her from coming to Christ and receiving what she needed from him. She wanted her daughter delivered. Her daughter wasn't even with her. Her daughter was back at home. And the power of God's word, I've always heard and I believe it, I experienced the word of God can go where you can't go. Prayers can go where you cannot go. Sometimes you can't get to that place and you might get a phone call saying how terrible a situation is. Just pray in that moment. You have access. By the way of faith in Christ Jesus, we have access that we can cry out our Father in the time of the day. And if you're constantly in communication with God, on an ongoing, you don't have to get the line like we used to do back in the day with the road of reform. You don't have to get the line to, 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 to get open. It's always open because I'm always in prayer. I'm always communicating. God is communicating with me. The line is never busy. The line is an open line. And so God, God blessed this woman. Christ, he honored what she asked of him. He delivered the young lady. The Bible said the young lady was made whole. Thank you, Jesus. The faith of this Canaanite woman. God is requiring us to walk by faith and not by sight. He seeketh such to worship him in spirit and in truth. Why don't you come to Christ by the way of faith? Confess your faults. Acknowledge that you're wrong. Tell the Lord that you need him. I desperately need you, Lord. Place your faith. Our faith got to be enthrust into the Lord. We got to we got to put our whole heart, dedicate ourselves unto him. Lord, here's my life. It's not just words, but it's my life. My life now belongs to you. And so that's, that's what we want to do. This woman gave herself. She went against all the eyes, all the naysayers, what the Jews thought about her. She pressed her way. Thank the Lord to find out that Jesus retreated to this location. This lady pressed her way. So that she can be blessed, so she can get the deliverance. She didn't go to the priests of her people. She went to Jesus and asked him for the deliverance. Asked him to be merciful, to deliver her daughter. And Jesus heard her cry. It's not that hard. You ain't got to cut yourself. 
You ain't got to sit there and, and play Russian roulette and spin the bottle. You ain't got to do none of those things. All you got to do is have faith in Christ Jesus. Have a sincere heart, cry unto him. He will hear you and he will answer. Commit yourself unto the Lord. We thank God for this lesson. Amen. 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 Uh, thanks again to Minister Jason. Uh, we'll have our final prayer and our conclusion. Thank you. Amen. Heavenly Father. We are grateful to be a part of your family. Reveal to us the things that prevent us from having good faith. Encourage us when we feel unable to show persistent faith. Give us eyes to see people be considered outsiders so we can invite them to experience your great mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's raise our Padre Celestial. Estamos agradecidos. De ser parte de tu familia. Reve la nos las cosas que nos impiden tener gran fe. Animanos cuando nos sentimos incapaces de mostrar una fe persistente. Danos ojos para ver a las personas que consideramos forestaros para que podamos invitarlas a Experimenta tu gran misericordia en el nombre de Jesús. Oremos. Amén. 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 Amén sa pagkakaroon ng malaking pananampalataya. Pasiblahin kami, hindi namin kayang magpakita patuloy na pananampalataya. Bigyan mo kami ng mga mata upang makita ang mga taong itinuturing namin tagalabas upang maimbitihan namin silang maranasan ay yung dakilang araw. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, kami ay nananalangin. Amen. 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 Hãy cùng cầu nguyện nảy cha thiên thượng. Chúng con rất biết ơn được là thành viên trong gia đình của Ngài. Hãy tiết lộ cho chúng tôi những điều ngăn cản chúng tôi có niềm tin lớn lao. Hãy khích lệ chúng tôi khi chúng tôi cảm thấy không thể thể hiện đức tin bền lao, bền bỉ. Xin cho chúng con đôi mắt để nhìn thấy những người mà chúng con coi là người ngoài, để chúng con có thể mời gọi họ cảm nghiệm lòng thương xót lớn lao của Ngài. Nhưng danh Chúa Giêsu chúng con cầu nguyện. Amen. Amen. All right, uh, thank you to the minister, uh, Minister Jason Divinity, Divinity for the word. Hallelujah, we, we thank the Lord for the men of God that do God's work. Okay, uh, thanks to everyone who read scripture. I uh, appreciate the input. Uh, we have the lesson from the Standard Lesson Commentary 2023-2024. So thank the Lord for that. Thank you, Pastor Eddie Cross, for opening the doors of the church to allow the ministry to go forth and allow everybody to get a word from the lord we thank you for the translators uh we thank you for the prayers and we thank you for the video clips that you guys sent in i uh, hope everybody join us for the next lesson it's called justified by faith so we're going into a new uh block uh, of the faith and uh justified by faith is going to come from romans chapter 3 verses 21 through 30. Uh, the devotion for that uh lesson is going to be john chapter 3 verses 1 to 8 and verses 13 and 17 and the background scripture is the same as the lesson uh romans chapter 3 uh verses 21 through 30. Uh, i encourage anybody that haven't done so yet to uh all right i invite everyone to subscribe to the channel if you hadn't uh, done so uh so you uh catch all the weekly lessons uh we thank the lord for each and every one of y'all uh have you join us by, by air or uh, in person. And we thank y'all and keep up the good work. We need that word of God. God, hide your word in our hearts that we send out against you. In Jesus' precious name.